All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the Dokkan Awakened base STR Kale as well as the base Tech Khalifla together on the Legendary Goku event. Just to give you guys an idea of how ridiculously awesome these units are. All right, so we got the Kale, she's rainbowed of course, as well as the Khalifla. They're both linked up on the same rotation. And of course, we're running a pure Saiyans team here. And just to make things interesting, I actually decided to bring no items because I don't think we need them. We're going for a no item run. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. So we're starting off here with 105,000 defense for Kale, 72,000 for Kefla, or sorry, Khalifla. And uh, let's see, 96,000 for the Kale and Khalifla. Although you guys already know how awesome the LR is, so there's not really a need to showcase them too much here but uh, let's kick things off here with the kale and she's gonna do actually a minimum of three super attacks possibly four possibly four so there's the first one 1.2 mil nothing crazy but keep in mind she does stack attack with every single super so uh it should be much higher as we go through the event so second super 1.3 ish third super 1.32 okay and we have the potential for the fourth super as well because she does have a bunch of additionals there's the fourth super okay so <laughs> kale immediately on the first turn showing us what she can do four super attacks khalifla and the lr didn't even get a chance to attack man that's crazy okay if you guys are confused about why she did that let me just quickly explain, because I know some people are not like fully aware or fully in tune with the details or the passives for every unit, right? So for Kef, or sorry, why do I keep saying Kefla? It's because Kefla's in my mind, because the banner just came out, obviously, and I really want to go back in for dupes, so I'm, I'm constantly thinking about Kefla, but no, Kale, for Kale, she gets an additional super attack when there is a Universe Survival Saga or Pure Saiyans category enemy, but since the Goku was both Pure Saiyans and Universe Survival Saga, she got two additional guaranteed supers, and then she got the third additional super from her hidden potential system, so that's why the four super attacks, and of course every single one raised attack and defense. Okay, so yeah, that's that that's why Kale is so crazy. She's such an insane, insane unit, and I love it. Okay, so we got a couple of Vegeta's here. It doesn't really matter too much what they do, but I do want to at least let them super. I didn't realize actually that the SSBE Vegeta and the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta did not link. Um, oh, actually no, it's because they're both blue Vegetas, right? Yeah, well, that makes sense. Um, all right, so are we still super though? I, ah, we can't. Damn, that sucks. Well, it's not a big deal. Not a big deal. We'll we'll get our rotations in order in a second. I actually want the second rotation to be killing Khalifla and uh, LRUI Goku. So we're gonna do the tech khalifla str kale for one rotation and then ui goku and killing khalifla on the other rotation and that should be good enough to get us this no item run although i am a little bit worried about lr ui because of course even though he has that crazy chance to dodge if he gets hit he can still take a good amount of damage especially in the later stages like against mui goku who actually disables dodge um that could be a little bit tricky, but we'll see. We'll, we'll get. We'll, we'll think about it when we get there. Okay, we'll think about it when we get there. Kale already has a hundred and ninety thousand defense, guys. Kale is. I mean, as much as I love Khalifla, and I actually prefer Khalifla over Kale most of the time, Kale I think is definitely the better unit of the two. I definitely think they showed Kale more love than Khalifla, but Khalifla is awesome too. It's just. Kale's insane. So Khalifla here is going to get a guaranteed dodge. So she's pretty much not getting hit until the very last stage. Because she gets that guaranteed dodge against, um, I think it's Pure Saiyans and Universe Survival Saga. So there's the additional attack. Additional super as well. That would be from her hidden potential system. So she's raising attack and defense twice there. And then Kale's going to do her thing. She's going to either do multiple supers or just kill Goku here. Okay, there we go. First super, second super, 1.46 now. So it went from 1. Point, what was it? 1.2 mil on the first super to now 1.5. Damn, she's building pretty fast. 
I know it's still not like crazy damage, but when you factor in like how many attacks she's launching over and over again, um, it, it's a lot of damage, right? You add up like 1.5, 1.3, 1.2, that's over 4 million easily, right? So yeah, Caitlyn Khalifa, um, if you guys haven't given them the respect they deserve yet, Right, haven't awakened them, haven't taken them for a run. Do it, man. Do it. I know I know everybody's attention right now is on Kefla. They're like, yo, Kefla is the, the fusion, right? She's the new Dokkan Fest unit. But don't sleep on Kellen Khalifa. Yo, this is gonna hurt. So we didn't get a chance to actually build too much defense yet. So that was really unfortunate timing. But we'll have a chance to like get our D, uh, our HP back over the course, you know, of the stages and stuff like that. So I'm not too worried right now. We're only on the tech Goku. But uh, that was really bad timing. That was really, really bad. If we had a chance to like attack a couple times and then take a super, it wouldn't have been nearly as bad. It's okay. It's okay. I, we got this. I did not bring any items because I knew we had this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, yo, quick side note as this stuff is going on. Uh, I started playing Fall Guys today because there was like so many people telling me out there like, yo, Tiger, try, try Fall Guys, man. It's really, is it called Fall Guys or Fall Boys? Or am I thinking about Fallout Boy? I think it's Fall Guys, right? Fall Guys. I installed it on PlayStation. I actually just found out today it was free. Because for a bit for a minute I was like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to buy another game because I have so many games that are like backlogged that I bought when they first came out and just never played, right? But um, I found out, yeah, it, it's free, which I really like. Free is like my favorite word. So <laughs> I got it for free on PSN. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. I was like kind of unsure because I was like, is it just like all hype, right? Like are people just like super hyped because like everybody's talking about it, everyone's playing it, like is it really not that good? But I gave it a try and I can confirm it is as fun as many people have told me. And uh, I've I played it for like two hours before this. I'm probably going to play it more after I do the showcase. And if you guys haven't tried it out yet, especially for those of you that have, P that have PS, blah, 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 that have PS Plus, why was that so hard for me to say? Yes, plus, um, definitely give it a shot. Yo, she's gonna take 11 damage from that super. 11 damage. <laughs> Kale, man. Oh, also one other thing that makes her very good defensively is that she guards against all attacks when um, you have a Khalifla on the team. So that's why she's just extra good defensively, not because of just the defense, but also the defense plus the guarding against all attacks. And uh, what, was, what was I saying again? Oh yeah, try it out, man. Fall boys? No, fall guys? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's one or the other. It's one or the other, but a really, really fun game. All right, and I had a blast. I'm definitely gonna be streaming it with uh, a couple of my boys. Maybe maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. Stay tuned, because I know that Toon Rami has been playing it. And uh, my boy Rawad, Ray, is uh, playing it too, and he was down to stream, so we could do like a three-way, four-way stream in, the in a couple days. Maybe tomorrow, actually, because I was thinking we could do like a regular... Dude! We are getting really unlucky with the supers right now. And also, UI, what happened to that 70% chance to dodge? Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna dodge the normal attack? We are not gonna dodge the super. I put him there because I wanted him to get some more extra dodges, right? And he takes a super to the face for 200k immediately. That's disappointing. I gotta say, it's it's pretty disappointing. Anyways, um, what was I saying again? Fall boys, fall, fall guys. Damn it! I'm not doing, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm genuinely confused right now. I actually don't remember which one is the right one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I was thinking of doing like a fall guys friday like every single week i mean it depends on like how long the game's around for right because like I, at this point it's so new it only came out like last week right so i don't really know if it's going to be like a, a game that continually gets like good support and new modes and just like keeps our interest so maybe it's like one of those fads that just like disappears after a couple weeks you know it's like really really popular for like when it first comes out and it just disappears could be that but if it has staying power, if you know the developers continue to support it properly, then I can definitely, definitely see myself playing it long term. And uh, you know, maybe Fall Guys Friday can be a regular thing on the channel 
but I do think I'm gonna make it more of a Twitch exclusive thing, you know? So like if you guys are uh, not following me on Twitch and you are interested in seeing stuff like that or just seeing me play console games in general outside of Dokkan, then I recommend you guys head over to Twitch, search up Tiger Uppercut Media. Actually head down to the, head down to the description. Head down to the description and uh, uh, click on the link for my Twitch and follow me on Twitch, all right? Now I've been focusing so much on the Fall Guy stuff that we need to actually focus a little bit more on the gameplay here. But so far I've been doing okay. Um, UI took a couple hits, but uh, it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna actually leave him in front of those attacks because I have faith that he won't let me down twice. Right? Like he's not gonna let me down again here, right? Oh crap, Ashley, there's so many attacks at the end. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. I, I need to put... I probably need to put UI or Kelly Khalifa at the end, right? Let me, let me just quickly reset this because... I wasn't paying too much attention. I didn't realize we had that many attacks at the end for SSBE, but the type disadvantage that would have ended up ended really bad for our no item run. So I'm gonna reset it. Don't mind me. Don't judge me. It's, it's part of the game, right? It's part of the game. If Bandai didn't want you to reset, they wouldn't have left that feature in there. I'm a, I'm gonna go with that. Okay. So I'm gonna trust that UI is actually gonna dodge a lot of attacks here and uh, build up his passive a ton. We'll give these to Kelly Khalifa, good amount of healing right there. And uh, I guess just one STR orb for UI. And I'm putting a lot of faith in him here. A lot of faith in him here. Let's see if he comes through for us or are we gonna die? We could die. It's, it's, a, it's a very distinct possibility. So I'm prepared for it. If it happens, I may or may not upload this video, so I could just be talking to myself at this point, because like, if it doesn't go up, then you guys don't see it, right? So, <laughs> we'll see what happens, man, we'll see what happens. Okay, so, no super on the first slot, which makes me think that there's a very good chance the super is coming on the third slot. And if that's the case, UI better freaking dodge that super. UI better freaking dodge that super, man, don't let me down. Okay, so we're attacking first. As you can see, his attack stat isn't too high yet because he hasn't actually dodged too many attacks. It's only been like, it's only been like one dodge, right? There's the super. Please dodge it. Oh god. He dodges every single attack, except for. The super. Why? Why? <gasps> oh my god, okay. Um, okay, so I think if I give that to Kale, we can get six orbs. Oh no, we can only get five for Vegeta. Hopefully he supers. Okay, so Khalifa is dodging everything because that's what she does, right? So she's not going to be actually taking a hit until MUI, but I do want to try to build her up as quickly as possible and as much as possible over the next couple of turns because uh, when she gets the MUI of course we have the type disadvantage and even if she has like 200k defense it's still not going to be enough. We want her to be at least around 300 to feel safe. The good thing is we do have a Dokkan attack coming up, right? Next turn is a Dokkan attack. So I think with the Dokkan attack we will probably be able to finish off the God Koo. Um, and also heal up, right, going into the Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So things aren't too bad right now. Things aren't too bad. Kale, of course, still doing her thing. Kale is still, you know, crushing it. It's just the other guys you have to worry about a little bit here. Um, let's see. So I think I'm going to give the Dokkan attack, actually. <sighs> I would give it to Kale and Khalifa, but they have to type disadvantage. Um... But then SSB Goku hasn't actually, or sorry, not Goku, but Jita hasn't had a chance to really get too much attack and defense yet. So I think killing Khalifa like getting that attack actually makes more sense. And let's focus here. Hopefully they crit, right? If they crit, then we probably will kill Goku still either way. Okay, they made it nice and slow for us so we can get this out, get this done. Okay, please crit. 
Do it for me. Girls, come on. Come through. Come through. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Crit. You know you want to do it. Oh, it, wa it wasn't a crit, but it was actually a lot of damage still. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't actually expecting a normal attack to, or like a normal, you know, damage. Like non-crit, basically, to do that much. But that was good, that was good. And then the, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta should actually finish things off here. Um, I should actually focus on him a little bit more, because if I don't, then by the time we get to MUI, it's going to be over, right? So, yeah, I think... I think I'm going to leave the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta in rotation with the Kalen Khalifa for now. And uh, as far as the other guys go, I want to keep Kalen Khalifa together, that's for sure. So that means uh, UI Goku will have to go to the back. And that is just not a great time. I mean, given how, how uh, UI has let me down so far, I'm definitely not hopeful for him, but I'm giving him, him another chance. I'm giving him another chance. Alright, there's the super, and we are going to dodge it. <laughs> so, luckily, the super is definitely not coming in the end, because this guy doesn't super twice, right? Uh, Kale's up to 1.7 mil now. Still doing great damage, or at least, you know, good attacks. That the, the damage itself is not the best, mainly because of the disadvantage. But, um, it's okay. It's okay. We're doing okay right now, man. Like, it, it's actually going pretty much as, as well as I can expect. Like, you can't always get lucky, right? You can't always expect to uh, get the dodges when you want to. You can't always expect to, you know, just get, get, like, have, like, the units you want to be supered, get supers, and stuff like that. So, it's okay. It's okay. Um, got the Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta transformation. And man, I want this this like this Vegeta. I want him to actually do more though. So I'm actually gonna give all those orbs to this Vegeta. I know we don't get the healing, but we're already like pretty high on HP, and I, I think it's much more important to let him attack and stack some defense. So we're gonna go with that. And we can still give a couple orbs here to the Vegeta anyways. So it's not that's not too bad. Okay. Damn, look at that. Tech, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Almost 3 million attack. It's additional too. Yeah, we got this, guys. We got this. As long as we don't get supered again, like, on... We basically can't take a type disadvantage super, right? So we can't have the Phase Vegeta taking a super from the LRUI Goku. But aside from that, there's not much else to worry about. I mean, actually, no, uh, I take that back. Uh, Khalifa getting supered by MUI is going to be pretty bad. The Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta obviously getting supered by MUI would be really bad too. But um, I think we got this. I think we got this. This team, this team obviously is built to no item. The Legendary Goku event. This would be the second time on the channel that I would have no itemed. The stage. I mean, I'm not saying I couldn't have done it with other teams, but usually I'm just like super, super conservative with this stuff, right? So like, if I if I have a feeling that there's a chance I could die, I would always item. But that's why I decided to not bring any items, so that I, I don't have that like. There's no possibility of me like being like, uh, maybe I'll just item here just in case and like you know chicken out, right? I can't chicken out now because we literally have no items here, so it's it's basically. No item run or die. That's it, right? Like, I can't just be like, ah, oh, you know what, never mind, no item run. No, we're, we're doing no item run. That's for sure. So, uh, 380,000 defense now for Kale. 174,000 for Khalifa, like I said. We definitely want to get that up. And uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, 116k. You know, not the best, but could be worse. Could be worse. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, I left him back. There's a couple attacks, but I think that... Killing Khalifa actually will kill Goku anyways. Man, those dodges are so satisfying. <laughs> it's so satisfying to see her dodge over and over and over again. That guaranteed dodge is awesome. Okay, man, we, we really need Khalifa to get some additional supers. 
All right, she really needs to get some additional supers. The additional attacks are nice, but they don't build their defense. That's a problem. That's a problem. But, you know, Kale, I have no complaints about. Kale's doing her thing. I do think Kale is definitely the better unit overall. Like, don't don't let those guaranteed dodges um, fool you, all right? Because there are enemies out there that can disable dodge. But as far as Kale is concerned, Kale builds up that defense faster because of how many supers she gets, right? And that she also has that chance, like that um, guaranteed guard when you're with a Khalifa on the rotation. So even though she doesn't get guaranteed dodge, it doesn't matter because she does she doesn't take damage at the end of these events, right? So I'd much rather have just much more defense built up much faster than guaranteed dodge because eventually, like a lot of these enemies these days, will disable dodge, like at least for like these longer events, like uh, infant Dragon Ball history and stuff like that, right? So, uh, anyways, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Let's. uh... Oh man, should, what should we do here? <laughs> Let's. If I. But let me think. I would probably have to put Killing Khalifa there because of how many attacks. Although I could try and see if we can trust UI. Although I don't trust them the most, if I'm being honest. But I'll, I'll give him another chance because last turn he didn't let us down too much. So so he deserves another chance. He deserves another chance. And let's just hope that the, the super actually is coming in the first slot. We got two attacks after, and then there's like five attacks at the end, so... I mean, regardless, he's got to dodge some of those attacks, right? And at, the, at this point in time, he has 150k defense, so a super won't kill us, that's for sure. So if a super doesn't kill us, then we dodge a couple normals, we get a hit by a couple normals, we should still be pretty okay on the, on uh, HP, so... Yeah, I'm stressing about nothing, man. I'm, I'm worrying about nothing. I gotta chill. I gotta relax. It's gonna be okay. Let me drink some water. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, he's not doing any damage to us, that's for sure. We did not get supered, so now I'm worried about the super coming, of course, um, on UI Goku. But, uh, ooh, additional super from Vegeta. That's perfect. That's good timing. That's clutch. And UI, some good damage there, 3.3. Um, let's see what happens though with the attacks here. Oh, additional, perfect. Okay, additional, I like that. Man, I, I wish this Goku raised defense. Even for one turn, just one turn defense on his super, that would just make me feel so much safer, man. Make me so much f feel so much safer. Oh, yo, he is t getting hit by all the attacks. What's going on there? What is going on there? He's getting hit by all the attacks. Okay, let me think about this. Um, there's a chance we might have to separate killing Khalifa mainly because of, uh, man, yeah, mainly because of like all those attacks at the end. Although I I feel like a super isn't gonna be coming at the end. It's most likely most likely due for the super in the first or second slot. So I'm actually leave it like that. It's a bit of a risk. A bit of a risk. But it's a risk I'm willing to take to keep killing Khalifa together. Alright. Is it gonna pay off though? We'll see, man. It's, it's it feels actually very much like an unnecessary risk. Like it's it's not necessary to do this, but we did it anyways. There's no going back now. We can reset rotations, of course, before we give everybody orbs, but once you give everybody orbs then you can't do that anymore. So uh, yeah, we, we're, we're basically locked in here. Oh God. We're gonna get supered. Vegeta's getting supered. It, it's not paying off guys. It did not pay off. This is gonna be bad. Oh, I'm so scared. We came so far, dude, we came so far. Okay. Okay. What? Hold on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did we actually go, what, two rotations? Two full rotations without getting supered. That's unheard of. That's crazy. All right, I mean, I'll take it. It's just, I can't actually believe that happened. 
We went two full rotations without getting supered on the UI Goku stage. I guess I guess it's my lucky day, man. I, I mean, we did take a couple supers in the beginning that were like pretty unlucky, but overall, this run has actually been very efficient, right? Like, if if if, if the Fizz Vegeta got supered there, that would have been like at least 200k minimum. But instead, we didn't get supered at all. We just took a couple normals, and with his defense at like 200k, we, it was like double digits, right? So, wow. That was just really lucky. That was a really lucky turn. I appreciate the RNG gods, even though you haven't been blessing me too much with Kefla summons. Um, I, I'll, I'll take the, the, LGE, the LGE luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is perfect, actually. We got the uh, one attack at the end against the STR UI Goku. So we're good to go there for sure. Um, Khalifla definitely worries me because of course her defense is still not like amazing. It's good, it's 200K, which is good, but it's not amazing. And you guys know how hard MUI Goku hits. So it's just that super attack that is really scary right now. Yo, please just super kill. Just super kill. Come on. You know you want to. She, she, she's the she's the one that looks weaker, you know? Like if, if you put Kale and Khalifla beside, beside each other, most of the, if you don't know anything about them, I would say Khalifla is stronger, right? Just because of how timid Kale is. So like, just do it, UI. Come on. Oh, there we go. Mm, that's going to be... I'm gonna, I'm gonna say 12 damage. I'm gonna take 12 damage here. Oh no. He destroyed us. 68 damage. How can I live with that, man? It's over. <laughs> no, for real though. Like, that's that, that's kill for you right there. So, ooh, triple supers. Damn. First time in the showcase. I was saying how I was worried about Khalifa's defense, but after those three, three supers, um, she should be good. Yeah, she, she's good. Okay. Yeah, so I was worried about nothing, but uh, I was going to say, yeah, this this turned out to be a little bit more of a Kale showcase as opposed to a Khalifa showcase, even though it's a Kale and Khalifa showcase. I, I think Kale really outshines Khalifa here, but of course, Khalifa with those guaranteed dodges and still building her attack and defense, just not as slow, of course. Or, no, sorry, uh, much slower than Kale, not as fast as Kale. Um, but still, you know, she's doing very, very well here. Kelly Khalifa at the LR, of course, almost at 600,000 defense. That's no surprise. Uh, I'm going to just give her one orb so I can give more to the Vegeta as well as the other Vegeta. Because the tech Vegeta, of course, needs those tech orbs to uh, really, you know, do that, that, that tanking and stuff. And of course, the type disadvantage is just... I want to give him as many orbs as possible. He should be over 250 now. Maybe close to 300,000 defense with all those orbs you just gave him. So it's not too much of a concern. Um, and now it's just a matter of time before we kill this MUI Goku and uh, finish up the video. We, we had a few scares in there, right? Had a few scares in there. But in the end, it all worked out. Of course he dodges the Fizz attack that would have done the most damage. Damn you, Goku. Now, we are definitely due for a new legendary, you know, character of, uh, events at this point, right? Like, there's so much potential, so many possibilities, right? So many options. They could do, like, Vegeta would be the most um, obvious answer, I think. Okay, so this, uh, I mean, I'm not too concerned. Maybe under 100k, hopefully. 185. 185, okay. Um, yeah, that hurt a little bit more than I thought it would. It hurt a lot more than I thought it would, but, uh, I mean, I guess it could have been worse. I, I, ideally, I want to put Vegeta here. Um, let me think about this. Yeah, I think Vegeta there makes more sense. It's only two attacks versus, like, four, three or four in the end. I think it's only three, but still. Hmm, let me think. 
Ah, you know what? I'm gonna keep the girls together. Screw it. We're gonna keep keep them together for the entire showcase. Um. And and yeah, we're probably not gonna get super at the end. I already said that before though. So <laughs> clearly, I'm not great at predicting when the supers are coming. But I have a feeling that they're gonna he's gonna super us on the first or second slots, which uh, shouldn't be too bad, right? Shouldn't be too bad. But we'll see. Okay, that's not a super. That's not a super. Okay. So, is he gonna super Khalifa then? I mean, Khalifa has good defense now, so... Not overly concerned there either. Okay, so it looks like SSBE might be getting supered. That was kind of the worst case scenario, but... Uh... It won't kill us. It won't kill us. Most likely. No guarantees, though. Never any guarantees. Okay, normal 34k, 35k, ooh, no super this turn, okay. Man, I just expect a super every single turn, but damn, okay, we, we actually lucked out there. No super this turn. Um, I'm gonna uh, give just the one orb to her. Heal up a little bit with the UI Goku, and heal up a bit with the Vegeta. Almost got a token attack, but not quite. Oh, come on, super killing Khalifa. Do it! Goku, why? <laughs> why, Goku? Still, like, still keeping us on our toes, right? Like, I was feeling pretty comfortable coming into this stage, but right now, I'm still not 100% sure we can do this. But, I mean, we're so close. It would really suck if we just died here. Infinite supers, infinite attacks here from uh, killing Khalifa. I mean, if you guys have used them on this event, definitely expect this to happen. And uh, at this point, even though I think there are definitely quite a few units out there now that have replaced killing Khalifa as like the best unit in the game, as they were formerly known as, um, as far as the legendary Goku event goes, I still think they're the best unit in the game for this event specifically because of their passive, right? Because of the way their passive works. Um, you know, against Universe Survival Saga enemies and Pure Saiyans enemies, uh, with all those additional attacks, um, the, the dodging, building the defense, all that stuff. Um, I think as far as the Legendary Goku event goes, Killing Khalifa is still the best unit in the game for this specifically, right? But overall, obviously, I don't think they're the best unit in the game now, but, but that, that's kind of why, honestly, I kind of don't like the whole best unit in the game just like conversation right like people constantly ask me like yo tiger who do you think is the best unit in the game who do you think is the you know number one and i i don't really like that question because i don't think there's like one best unit in the game for every single event right um there's best units in the game for different events or different kinds of event longer events shorter events all that stuff and uh, when it comes to the discussion of like who's the best, like a lot, 90% uh, of the time it's just like personal opinion or it's just like personal preference, right? Because some people uh, value, you know, just like raw damage numbers or maybe like raw defense. Some people value defense more than offense, offense more than defense. Kale just finished off UI by herself. That's pretty sweet. Um, you know what? She was the MVP of this run, anyways, so she definitely deserved that. But. Uh, you know, some people value more versatility, right? So for some people, as far as like TURs go, I've talked to some people and they still think that STR Cooler is the best unit, like the best TUR in the game because he has that support ability. So he's more versatile than like a tech ultimate Gohan, which uh, a lot of other people, myself included, think is the new best TUR in the game because of his crazy offense and crazy defense numbers, right? But uh, at the end of the day, it's just all personal preference, I think. And uh, I don't know how we got here, but uh, that's basically how I feel, man, about like the best unit in the game discussion. I don't necessarily think there is one all-around best unit in the game, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, let's get back on track. Let's get back to the video, which is almost over. But uh, there it is. Kale and the Khalifla. Base Kale, ba base Khalifla, the tech and STR ones. Um are amazing especially kale all right especially kale kale has really um 
I think made a pretty good case for herself to be better than the Khalifla. But once again, it really depends on the events you're talking about, right? Like for example, when it comes to, um, let's see, Battlefield against the Jiren at the end, Khalifla actually is probably better because Khalifla gets the guaranteed dodge. Whereas Kale, even though she has the ability to, um, you know, uh, what do you call it, guard against all attacks, as well as the stacking of defense really fast, stacking of attack and defense actually, um, she still takes a little bit of time, right? So in that event specifically, with Jiren hitting so hard, you kind of want the ability to just dodge, you know, from the get-go, right? Take no damage from the get-go. So Khalifa in that case would be better. But for longer events, I think it's it's pretty clear, it's pretty cut and dry that like Kale is better than Khalifa. But the point I was trying to make in this video actually is that together they're the best, right? Together they're amazing. Um, they make a just crazy duo for these long events like the uh, LGE, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and any other events in the future that are a similar style. And uh, I just love them, man. They're two of the best units, or two of the two of my two of my favorite units to run in the game right now. And I've been running this team a ton, I've been running Universe 6 a ton with the Kefla, and uh, basically any other team I can use them on, I've been throwing them on there just because they're dope. So that is today's video, that is today's showcase of the TUR Khalifla and TUR Kale at 100% in the hidden potential system. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them, and uh, if you guys haven't given them the respect they deserve yet, as in awakening them and running them on your teams, then uh, definitely go do that, because they deserve it more than a lot of units in this game. Okay, that's it guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much once again for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out